Welcome to the Enlight online tutorial series. Today we'll discuss what a scene is, the two types of scenes available in the Enlight platform, presets and profiles, and the differences between local and global scenes. We'll also discuss the various methods used to run these scenes and some ways that we can implement these scenes to meet regional codes or other desired sequences of operation. A couple things to note before we get started. When we use the term lights, we mean any Enlight output device, like an Enlight enabled fixture, relay, power pack, or equivalent Enlight air device. Similarly, when we use the term switch or wall pod, we mean any Enlight device that's issuing switch commands on, off, or dim. These can come from things like NPOD M series devices or, say, a switch channels set up on an NPOD touch. You'll need a basic understanding of the Enlight network and sensor view software. If you need more information, there will be additional training information at the end of this presentation, or if you'd like even more information on what you see in these videos or to enroll in any of our instructor-led events where we learn about these topics in a hands-on environment, please use the QR codes to the right to visit Acuity Academy. Feel free to pause the video now. First, let's discuss what a scene is. Generally speaking, a scene is just a pre-programmed set of instructions sent to a group of devices, usually lights, instructing them to perform a list of actions. Typically, these are used to create a visual mood, atmosphere, or other lighting scenario that's helpful to the occupants of the room. A very common example would be in, say, a lecture hall or classroom, an AV mode, where a single button press from a wall station would command the front rows of lighting off, since we want to be able to see a screen, but dims the middle and back rows so students can take notes. Specifically to end light, scenes can be used in the scenario just described, but in addition can also be used to make behavioral changes within the settings of the device outside simple dim or on-off values. Things like occupancy time delays, special operating modes, switch tracking, and all the other available settings. These settings can be run either indefinitely, or waiting for another command, or can be set to expire. Finally, they can be local to the room or can affect lights and devices throughout the entire network. In Enlight, all scenes are broken down into two types. One type only affects lights on, off, and dim levels. These are called preset scenes. The other type of scene can affect other device behaviors by changing their current settings. For example, changing an occupancy sensor's time delay or a light fixture's special operating mode. Both types of these scenes can either be local or global. Local scenes are stored on and run from a device in the lighting control zone or room. This device must be a scene controller like an NPOD M1, 2, or 4S, a Neo 1S, or an NPOD Touch. Global scenes are stored on and run from the Enlight Eclipse or older style gateway. Local scenes can only affect devices in the immediate group or wired zone, typically the room. Global scenes can affect devices across the entire network, regardless of their location, as long as they're within the same Enlight network. Local scenes cannot be controlled by a time schedule. They must be run from a scene controller in the room. But conversely, global scenes can be controlled by a time schedule and can also be run on demand from a scene controller device installed anywhere on the network. A note, you must have a fully networked system with bridges and an eclipse in order to utilize global profiles and presets. Standalone rooms and zones can only use local scenes. Let's take a look at a local preset scene. As you can see in sensor view, we're in the devices tab and then in the scenes tab of an NPOD touch. If this were another type of device, Scenes tab would instead be default settings. We'll use our AV mode scenario from earlier. Since we only want to manipulate lighting levels only, we'll select the mode to preset scene local. Now available in a drop-down menu will be all of the switch channels that the lights are tracking. Note that these switch channels have already been programmed on the Controls Channels tab, which is why you see them here. So, as you can see, we've told row 1 to be off, and rows 2, 3, and 4 to be at 20, 30, and 40%. Once named and saved, when this AV mode button is pressed, no matter what the light levels are currently at, they will all immediately change to these prescribed levels. They will remain here until another button is pressed or the room is unoccupied. As a reminder, 
This local preset scene is stored on this device and cannot be run on a time schedule or from other devices outside this control zone or room. Now let's take a look at global preset scenes. Like a local preset scene, the global channel must be created prior to being able to select that channel as part of your global preset scene. Creating global channels is covered in a separate tutorial. Still under Scenes for the NPOD Touch, you can see we now have the mode set to Preset Scene Global. This will allow you to add in any pre-programmed global channels you're trying to control with this scene. We added our exterior override channel and set it to 100%. After naming and saving, we will now have a button in a separate control zone to turn on our exterior lights to 100%. Not all scenes have to make an immediate change to the various light levels in the space like preset scenes do. Profile scenes give us the ability to adjust more than just the dim level of the lights in a space, but also allow us to adjust the behaviors of all the devices in this space. These changes will take place in the device's current settings as opposed to the default settings. If we just want to affect the devices in one control zone or room, we can use a local profile scene. Note that there must be a scene controller installed in this control zone, as simple wall pods cannot create or run scenes. When these local profile scenes run, in this case from a button press, the scene controller sends out a script of new current settings for all the devices in the room to change to. When we build our list of settings to send for the device, settings not selected in our list will revert to our programmed default setting values, with a couple exceptions that we'll cover in the next slide. When the scene is disabled by pressing the button again in this case, or the scene expires, devices will revert to their default settings value. Like before, we are using the NPOD Touch, but now with the Profile Scene Local selected. When we select Add a Setting, a drop-down menu with all the available settings for the local devices appears. We have selected Unoccupied Dim Level, Maintain Dim Level When Vacant, and Occupancy Time Delay from this menu for our scene. Let's take a look at unoccupied dim level. We have it set at 20% with all four of our output devices selected. Under maintain dim level when vacant, we can see that different selections of the same setting has been included by clicking add value. In this scenario, two devices have yes selected and two devices have no. Clicking add value under any setting allows you to select multiple device behaviors for that specific setting. Just make sure the correct devices you want to change is selected on the right. Notice that under the Occupancy Time Delay setting, you can see there is only one device. Since the Occupancy Sensor is the only device that contains this setting, it's the only device that shows up. Remember that devices can only be selected to receive a setting if they have that default setting in their behaviors. Similarly, the reason only four devices are available with Unoccupied Dim Level is because only the four lights contain these settings, not the Occupancy Sensor or the Switch. Our egress mode button will now send these new settings to all the devices in the control zone. Local profile scenes also give the ability to set an expiration time. This time can be adjusted from 5 minutes to 12 hours. To reiterate, after this time expires, devices will automatically revert to their program default settings. We've mentioned that the settings not specifically selected from the dropdown will be told to revert to their program default value. This is true except for three settings that, if selected in the scene, will have immediate effects on the lights in the space. Since we likely wouldn't want the lights in a room to change dim values just because we want to, say, change the time delay of an occupancy sensor, these three settings will remain unchanged if not specifically called out in the scene. These settings are Override, Occupied Bright Level, and Correlated Color Temperature, if applicable to the fixture. If we wish for system behavioral changes similar to local profile scenes, but want to do so with devices in multiple control zones across the network, or run these behaviors automatically at specific times, we'll need to use global profile scenes, or profiles for short. Profiles change device current settings just like a local profile scene, except these profiles will be created under the Profiles tab, since they can span devices across the entire Enlight network. Even though these profile scenes are global, the same settings and exceptions described in local profile scenes apply. In our scenario, we have some exterior lighting and a work light that we want to turn off with a button press from our switch in a different control zone. To accomplish this, you can create a new profile, select which devices you want to be included, in this case the power pack for the exterior lights and the work light, 
and add the settings changes you wish to affect, in this case just the override setting to off. Similar to local profile scenes, we can use as many settings in this list as we need. Make sure to delete any schedules if you are only using this on demand. Then name and save your profile. This will save the profile on the Eclipse or Gateway, and when successful, you will see the profile as synchronized here. After creating and saving the new profile, head back to your Scene Controller in the Devices tab. Select Profile Scene Global for the mode, and then select the profile you have created from the dropdown. You can also add an expiration time if desired. Otherwise, pressing the button again will disable the profile. Don't forget to save. Now, our scene button will cause the Eclipse to run the exterior lighting off profile, turning off the exterior lighting and work light. If instead of being run on demand from a scene controller, we wish for our profile to run on a time schedule, we would need to create that schedule back in the Profiles tab. Basically, the schedule sets up a start and an end time. While this profile is running, the devices selected will exhibit the behavior of the profile, and when the profile schedule ends, the devices will revert to their program default settings. Note that a profile can be run on multiple schedules, and we can have multiple profiles that can have higher or lower priority than others. Scheduling techniques and priority will be covered in a separate tutorial. Thank you for watching our tutorial. You have just learned the differences between the preset scenes and profile scenes, at a local level as well as global. Please reach out to Acuity Brands Tech Support at the phone number provided or use the links for more information. Keep an eye out for new content and feel free to send an email to learning at acuitybrands.com if there are any other topics you would like to see. Thanks.